over the past year, we followed the story of two friends who met in college, bonded over the love of New Orleans Saints, and stood by each other through some hard times. Take a look. I met Brian in 2003 at Tulane. At the end of college, I was heading out to Gainesville. Meanwhile, in the States, the Saints just won the Super Bowl. Brian made this cardboard cutout of me. He brought it to Mardi Gras, and I've gone through all these pictures, and I get to the very last one. It's Drew Brees and my cardboard cutout. Little did I know the circumstances that would come about. Hi, my name is Brian. I'm 30 years old, and I was recently paralyzed. In the weeks after Brian's injury, I go to the Saints practice, and I see this picture of Drew Brees with his arm around a cardboard cutout of me. To see it lifted my spirits and boosted, boosted my morale is an understatement. You both love Drew Brees and uh, you both are amazing friends and now I have a surprise for both of you. Drew, are you there? Hi, Hi Drew. <laughs> Brian and Jackson, whenever you guys get the chance, uh, we would love to host you down here in New Orleans. To, uh, to a football game, bring you over to the facility, have you come to a practice, do whatever you want. Well, well Drew, on, on the day that Brian can be there with me, I promise you I'm there. This weekend they made it back to my hometown and cheer on the team, and they're here to tell us about it. Please welcome back Brian McKenna and Jackson Smith. You look great, and I hear right. that you have some uh, really good news, new, new developments. Uh, yeah, but also you have a new development. How about congratulations on the Medal of Freedom? Thank you. Thank you. This is me clapping. I'm clapping. Are you clapping right now? Yes. All right. Um, but I, yeah, a couple months ago, I noticed that I always have twitching muscles, but I noticed that my bicep was twitching, and I, I looked at it and realized I could actually control it. And there's, since then, about five, six different muscles. So I'm, I'm starting to regain a little bit of control of my upper body. That is fantastic. Yeah. 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 If anybody can do it, you can. I mean, you are a, an amazing individual, and I, I'm just, I'm just really happy that you're seeing all these changes because you can, you can do anything you want. You have a very strong mind. Thank you. Yeah. So um, this was exciting. So Drew, in that tape you saw, he said, "Come down. He'd like to host you." So this past weekend. You went to watch them play, the Detroit Lions, and uh, <laughs> it wasn't a fun game to watch, really, but uh, what an amazing... We, we had a good Yes, game. I bet, I bet. It was the best loss I've ever yeah. Yeah. seen. <laughs> That's a good way to look at it, because yes. you were there. Let's take a look. Hey, Alan. Made it to New Orleans, finally. Caught up with Jackson, and we're here at the Saints practice facility. <laughs> How are you doing? You look great. You look great. Jackson, what's up, man? Good to see you. How you doing? How are you? Good. You're in the weight room a little bit, huh? A little bit. <laughs> I did see that. And I did think about what was happening in your head. That was probably the best one of the Great to meet you. I think some of you guys on the own show. Did you pick them up on fantasy football? No, I got you. As long as you got one of us, you're going to be all right. 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 Thanks, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. Drew Brees said I looked like I've been working out. Tim Hightower said he liked my watch. I heard Jackson's head grow by three sizes. So it was a good win for me. This is awesome. I appreciate you coming in. I appreciate you guys having us. Absolutely. Good luck tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> that was your head. There we go. Sit up. No, see? Yeah. One take. One take. The question is, how far away from the NFL is Jackson yeah. right, right now? I'm going to be an asset for the team. I got you. You could, you could be watching Jersey. Think about racing 
the whole field. <laughs> I thought if I'd made them run 100 yards, that they'd tire out, but they have bigger batteries. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That was after the game, right? Yeah. That's really good. So after the game, Drew and his family went out on the field, and, and y'all got to do that. I mean, I was going to say, what are your favorite moments from, from Sunday, but, or the weekend, but what are they? Um, for me, I, I mean, hanging out with the family was awesome. It, we honestly felt like we were one of them eventually. Honestly, the most amazing moment of the whole experience for me was meeting uh, Steve Gleason. Um, seeing him. Yeah. Uh, getting to hang out. I mean, he's been a hero and a legend in New Orleans for so many years, ever since that first game back in the Superdome after Katrina. It just felt amazing to be with him. Yeah, I, I saw that picture, and I just thought, what, what a cool experience that must be. Because, yeah, he's, he's something else, too. He's amazing. Unbelievable. Yeah. All right, we're going to uh, take a break. When we come back, uh, we're going to check in with Drew and Brittany Breeze, who are in New Orleans, and we'll be right back. Hi. We were just talking about how great, during the break, uh, Brian and Jackson were just talking about how great the two of you are and, and how much we love you and... So, just to start off, just, we love you so, so very much. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you, Alan. We love you, too. I know you helped coordinate getting Brian and Jackson to the game. You uh, flew them there, which was an amazing thing to get them there. So, thank you for doing that. And, uh, and how great to meet them at practice on Saturday and, and, and then Sunday with your kids on the field after the game. I think my favorite part, though, was watching the kids literally one by one all climb up into Brian's chair and sit on his lap. But they each kept getting jealous of the other. So at the end, it was just all three of them up on Brian's lap. And he was cruising around the family area. And then we get down to the field. And Callan, he was like, he, Brian was like Callan's own dedicated Six Flags ride um, <laughs> as he cruised around the field. Uh, and just kept doing 100-yard dashes back and forth. Faster, faster, uh, faster, faster. Again, again, faster. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you get that thing Should to go faster? Crank up the speed yeah, well, bit? eventually my lip gets tired, Preston. Yeah. You know, I have a few muscles where I actually work. <laughs> I, I got exhausted. I see. <laughs> yeah. we got to figure something out to make that thing go faster. Just for the kids. And right. Brittany, I mean, how amazing, uh, you know, uh, that that to play, to, for him to play a game... And then they were saying that he just doesn't take it home with him. No matter what the game is, he just is with his family, with you, with the boys. It, it's amazing. I mean, he's, he's always been like that. I honestly don't know how he does it. I mean, he, he truly is amazing. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. All right. Brian and Jack, we're going to check in with you uh, later this season. And Drew and Brittany, uh, I, I love you both. I can't say it enough. And come see us whenever, whenever you're in town, okay? You got it, Ellen. I tell you what, next time we play in L.A., Ellen, you're going to be there 